create your own AI influencer avatar in just seconds. Today, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do just this. And AI avatars keep getting better and better. And today, that's with no exception. And if you haven't seen my specific one for A Cool, the app I'm sharing with you today, make sure you check this one out right after you watch this video. So to start, let me show you how I created this AI influencer right here. So all you have to do first is simply find a video clip or a reel of a person you wanna use as the base. And then from there, we're going to perform a face swap. And this feature actually works amazingly well for video and for images. First, check out this awesome example. Here is the original video. Per accedere a incredibili database di prompt. I actually translated it from English to Italian. Here is the English version. Make sure you check the links in the description to access amazing prompts databases. But now, watch this. Assicurati di controllare i link nella descrizione per accedere a incredibili database di prompt. But did you notice anything different? I completely changed her face. Now, let's do our own. First, we'll do it with video. And now now remember, we're not using their exact face. We'll be performing a face swap. So for that, let's go ahead and visit my prompts database. So this way we can go ahead and then find an image that we're looking for. So I'm over here in my Leonardo mega database. I have two. This one is going to be for AI images. I can come over here and then simply click on one and then find somebody I want to replace the face with. If I like this image, I'll select download. And then just like that, I'll be able to swap out the original image with now one of these images of my choice. Okay, so here we are over here in A Cool. First thing you want to do is notice all of these amazing options up in the menu. If I come over here and I select platform, look at all these options right here. So now for the first one, what we're going to do is select face swap. Okay, now once you select face swap, it's going to automatically bring you to this area right here. Here's all you have to do. Just click and drag the actual file that you want to replace a face with into this Dropbox window. Okay, and now I'm gonna do just that. Here's my image. You could see it across my screen. I'm simply just gonna bring it in here and then let go to upload my file. And then just like that, it's saying analyzing for you. It only takes a few seconds, then it's gonna be ready to go. Okay, and then there we go. Just like that, it is now in here. <laughs> Okay, that's the original image or the original video that we got. Now we're gonna take that same video and now completely change her face. So in order to do that, you can see this is pretty helpful up here. It says detected face, okay? Here is the detected face. Now all you have to do now is just simply choose a new face you wanna replace this one with. Now, since I already have images uploaded, I can just select any of my images and they automatically go into this circle. However, if I want to upload a brand new one, just select that plus button and then now just select an image of your choice that you already have in your folders okay so for this case let's go ahead and go back to this database over here and now here are the images that i want to choose so you could see over here on my screen i have this image okay i selected her that's her right there if i go back now you can see the image in the full body so that is the actual image i uploaded this one to a cool it detected her face and now you can see it's right here ready to go now the next thing you have to do down here at the very bottom just select high quality face swap but what i like to always do is over here in face enhance i like to go ahead and then turn this on it's going to add a lot more detail to her face the other cool thing is going to be re-age if i select this info button it says it takes effect globally and facial details will be adjusted when there are multiple faces but i can also subtract and add additional years or less years to their life to make the face look either younger or older okay but now let's go ahead and now select high quality face swap beautiful now this is done and this took about three to five minutes here it is right here Okay, did an amazing job. Now you may be thinking to yourself, well, that doesn't really look too different. It does actually, and I probably should have chosen a much different face, but look at this small detail right here. Over here on the left, this is the original image, okay? Over here on the right, this is the new image with the face swap. Notice this, it's a completely different eye color. 
The left is the original. It has her dark brown eyes. However, now the one on the right hand side has completely different color eyes and even the facial expressions are going to be a little bit more different. And now you can see that it actually works very well for images too. So for this, I did a face swap and then here is the original image right here. And now coming back to my new image, here is this image right here. Again, the eye color is completely different and now even the lips. Again, now check this image out right here. Okay, here's my database. If I click it, here is the original image. You can notice that, you know, the face isn't so smooth a little bit rough. However, now when I performed a face swap now in a cool, look how much better this looks. A much more well-defined clear face, eye colors different, and it is a completely different person. Original and then the new one. Now moving on, let me now show you one of the things that really does work well, and this is going to be realistic avatars. So we're back on the homepage. In order to find realistic avatars, again, go underneath platform and now select realistic avatar. Here we go, and it's so easy to start the process. Here is the page you're going to get. Now the first thing you'll notice is that already we have all these cool options on the left hand side and if you wanted to create some different tutorials there are a few templates that you could choose from and then you could have the avatar speaking within that template but the first thing we'll do is come over here to avatar okay and we can either select from all of the options many of them on the left hand side that they have however I like to add my own and so in order to do that you can see I've already uploaded a few of my own if I want to upload any new ones I can open up this upload button select upload new avatar and then again select any of my images right here but for this one since I already have one uploaded let's go ahead and now start the process here so for this one I'll select this photo right here here she is now let me go ahead and expand it to make sure it's going to contain and take over the whole entire area now again I can come up here underneath the aspect ratio and I can select my different dimensions YouTube TikTok, and Instagram I'm gonna leave it on YouTube right here and now on the left hand side this is really where the fun starts to happen I have a text script okay I can enter in any sort of text I want her to say. Check the links in the description, etc. I can also add an audio script or right down here below, I can select a pre-made voice, okay? I can choose from one of the many voices that a cool has. And also, I can also upload my new voice. So first, let me show you how good of a job this did when I entered in my own text script. For thousands of prompts, plus the most amazing prompt databases, don't forget to click the links in the description. Okay, now that's pretty good. Now let's change things up and now let's do it with an audio script. I know you've never strayed from the fold. Now I'm going to come in here and now select this avatar on the left hand side. Again, this is just a still image. What I'll do now is now select an audio script and now let's make believe I want to actually make this into a music video. I want this still image of this AI avatar to now sing a song and that's never been easier. In order to do this, all you have to do is click and drag a file into this upload box right here. Okay, so now you can see this is exactly what I'm doing. Here's my file, okay? I'm gonna click and drag it right over here into this box right here. Once it's in here, just simply let go and then let it just do its magic. Now for this one, this will take a little bit longer, maybe two to three minutes, sometimes even five. Okay, now that we're back in here, the first thing you wanna do, you always wanna preview it by selecting this play button. Okay, now that it's done, let's come in here and see how good of a job it did. Here is the image right here, which is now an AI avatar, which now is going to perform a music video. I'm sorry the things didn't go as planned, but you haunted. Why do I feel like your world is in my head? Okay, that did a very good job. I'm pretty impressed with that so far. Everything matches well. The quality is also very good. And this is the cool thing about this right here is that when you're creating these avatars, you have multiple options. You can use one of their pre-selected voices and then also upload your own. Now, I know there are some other tools that create AI avatars like what I'm showing you today. For example, you also have another tool like Hey Gen, which Hey Gen does do a pretty good job. But unfortunately, I haven't always had the best of experiences. So let's head over to Hey Gen for a quick comparison between these two. So if I select a price menu, you can see we do have some pretty good options. They do provide a free plan right over here. If you want to take it to the next level, you have Pro, which is going to be $39 a month. However, do remember to use that code for 40% off. And then from there, you have Pro Max Studio and Enterprise. But at least I love it when companies do have a pretty basic and good free plan. That way you can at least try this out for yourself 
and then see if it's worth the upgrade. Okay, now let's head over here into Hey Gen and let's go ahead and then try one of these ourselves. We're going to have our options from video avatar, AI voice, AI studio, etc. However, the thing I do like about a cool is that there are a lot more features. It does feel like if I go back up to platform, we have face swap, which is amazing. We also have video translate, which I showed you earlier, talking photo, image generator, background changed, personalized video, etc. And something else that's pretty cool in beta streaming avatar. Okay. Now look at the options over here for streaming avatar. This is going to be fantastic. And it even has a seamless API. So it seems like a cool does have a lot more options. Okay. Back over here in the Hey Gen, let's create one very quickly and I'll show you the example. So I have one credit. I am on the free plan. I'll select create. Now, AI avatar. Let me open this up right here. And I do feel like over here in Hey Gen, it is a little bit more difficult to figure out exactly what I need to do. Now, here is where it gets a little bit confusing. Once it is in here, I don't really know where to put the, the prompt for my text. Okay, here we go. Script. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and enter a script. For a 40% off discount code, Check the links in the description. Okay, so in full disclosure, I think Hey Gen also did a pretty good job. However, if I do had to pick one, I think I would lean towards a cool, especially with the face swap. I think it's going to be one of my new favorites to create AI avatars. But thank you so much for watching this video. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. Until then, we'll see you next time.